Hi, I'm James, and I'd like to show you a new feature in Windows Multipoint Server 2012 that's called Virtual Desktops. Now, Multipoint Server is an operating system that allows multiple users each to get their own Windows desktop uh, running off the same PC. However, sometimes we run into situations, particularly with older applications, uh, that haven't been written to be used by multiple users at once, where that application wants its own instance of a full operating system. With the virtual desktop feature, we allow multiple instances of Windows 7 or Windows 8 to be running at the same time on the same box so that each application can have its own operating system. So to take advantage of virtual desktops, uh, in Multipoint Manager, we go to the Virtual Desktops tab. The first option we'll be presented with is uh, enabling virtual desktops. Uh, that will reboot the computer and enable everything that's uh, required uh, to take advantage of this. To save time for us, I've already done that. Uh, more importantly, the next step is to create a virtual desktop template. So this will be the basis of uh, each of the virtual desktops that will be associated with the uh, multipoint uh, stations. So we'll kick that off now. You can either point this at uh, a share where you keep your golden image of Windows 7 or 8 Enterprise, uh, or you can point it at the uh, DVD uh, that's in the DVD drive. Okay, so now we have a template that we just created, and the next step in the process will be to customize that template with the applications and the settings that we want to be available to all users. Okay, having made the customizations that I want to do to this template, all I do is go to the desktop and double click on the complete customization icon and multipoint server will take care of the rest. And the last thing we need to do now that we have our customized template is to actually uh, associate that template with the multipoint server workstations. So if you run into an instance where you have some piece of software that you really need to run and that requires its own operating system, Virtual Desktops is a solution for you. Thanks.